Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Ergites. Today, we're going to start our quest, our Forsaken Dungeon quest. So this is a dungeon crawler, and I'm not going to complete it. I've completed every other part of this game in one way or another, but this I'm not going to finish. This takes a considerable amount of time. Now, uh, pe oh, that? we've got, we've got exposition. Far before the beginning of recorded history in an age that's said to be the beginning of everything, a civilization far more advanced than anything we can imagine inhabited this land. However, there are only a few scholars in the world who believe this. You must be one of those scholars then, Professor. Actually, this idea is not even accepted as theory. Hmm. What kind of civilization is it, anyway? They searched for the realm of the gods and possessed the technology to reach it. There are no concrete records to prove it, but there is an ancient weapon that was found about 50 years ago at an old German castle that seems to have some kind of connection to the civilization. Our, the former lord of the castle got hold of this item through a transaction with a local merchant. There was a stone embedded in the weapon, which was made of an unidentified substance. It was a material not found anywhere else in this world. <coughs> that stone is probably the key to answering the mystery of immortality. The mystery of immortality? I have no accurate understanding of what refers to, but I have a firm belief that there is something there. But if that's really the secret of immortality, isn't it the ultimate treasure that rulers everywhere have sought after since ancient times? It'll be sensational if we find it. Definitely. Wow, this is the ultimate dream of any archaeologist. I'm getting excited already. And there's our exposition. So it's like a dungeon crawler. It's kind of cool. They built a whole fucking dungeon crawler. And, and you know, I guess if it's requested enough, I'll, I'll play the whole damn game. But I think it's a great condition for a ruin. I think it's relatively new. From the looks of it, it's probably from around 1000 BC, but we're not looking for... It's supposed to be far older... But the one we're looking for is supposed to be far older than any known ancient civilization, right? This is more of a decoy. It would be more precise to say that, there, that it is something that protects the ultra-ancient artifact. I'm pretty sure the artifact we're after is lying dormant down here. Oh, come on, Professor. There are stairs over there. Let's go down. And boom. So I always thought this guy was interesting, right? Because if you look at him, he's got his sleeve ripped off on one side because that arm is much more beefy than the other arm. There was a way. I must have to do something first. Oh, you've awakened. How do you feel? You and your companion were found unconscious on the outskirts of town. I took the liberty of bringing you to this hotel. It's been several years since we've had visitors. I, I guess you are here for our forsaken dungeon. If you're here for the dungeon, please use these. They're items left behind by the previous guests. A dagger, a leather shield, fire and ice materia, and some magic stones. Not much. But they're far better than nothing. Please, don't forget to equip them. Now allow me to explain to you the fundamentals of a dungeon survival. A basic attack is done by pressing the square button. You can punch or slash if you have a weapon equipped already. Rapidly hitting the button does combos while holding the button and then releasing performs a special attack. However, if you get hit while charging up your special attack, your attack is cancelled. Hence, the timing is crucial. Oh yes, yes, this is useless if you have a weapon equipped. For now, I'll explain the use of magic. First, you'll have to hit the start button to enter the status menu, then equip the materia as basic magic or ultra magic. You can use magic by pressing the circle button, but that will only use the basic magic, the one you've equipped as basic magic. Holding the circle button down and then releasing it will allow you to use the ultra magic, the one you've equipped as ultra magic. <laughs> what a patronizing tutorial. <laughs> For example, 
If you have the fire material equipped as basic magic, and you equip the ice material as ultra magic, pressing the circle button will launch a basic fire spell, and holding it down and then releasing will unleash a powerful blizzard. Exchanging the two material will allow you to launch a normal blizzard and a powerful fire. Similar to the physical attacks, you get hit while storing up for the ultra magic. It will be cancelled. Please, take caution when and where you use magic. Also, it seems that you are not a magician. <laughs> Therefore, you will have to use magic stones, which store magic. To use magic, a spell will use up one magic stone for one basic magic and three for one ultra magic. To avoid mon a monster's attack, press the R1 button. Normally, you'd use your right index finger to press it. <laughs> wow. If you go too long without guarding, if you go without guarding for too long, you'll soon find yourself dead. So please be careful. Also, you can jump a, t a jump to avoid physical and magical attacks. Use the L1 button for that. That would be pressed by your left index finger. If you press the L1 button and the square button together, you'll jump and do a special attack. You should try it out sometime. There's one other thing. If you guard with the R1 button and press the L1 button to jump, you can use a guard attack to knock back your enemies. It won't do any damage to them, but it can be effective if you're surrounded by enemies. However, this move will make you hungry very fast, so be careful. Oh, also about the triangle button. If you wish to use items during combat, it's best to place it in your satchel. Items placed in your satchel will be displayed on the bottom of the screen. You can move the selector on the satchel using the L2 or R2 button, and then pressing the triangle button will use the selected item. Using this function is extremely useful, so please make good use of it. Next, pressing the start button and then pressing the select button will give you the option to check your physical condition or to save. Saving will cost you money. The amount money to save, uh, the amount required to save will increase as your level goes up. Please make note of it. And finally, the dungeon has multiple entrances. Of all the entrances, I recommend going through the one near the top of the mountain. The power of the monsters can vary greatly depending on where you enter, so you care for your own safety. Always go through the one at the top of the mountain. For more detailed information, talk to the restaurant's sommelier. Do take care. I... No, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to keep talking to you. You just patronized me. You told me which button, which finger to press certain buttons with. You know what? play as her. I'd rather be cute, frankly, than have my big jerk-off arm going on. Alright, so like, yeah, there's like a whole little town over here. And like the guy said, as he was in the midst of patronizing, the music is very Final Fantasy VII. But I mean, you also use Materia for magic, which is also very Final Fantasy VII. But, like, instead of talking to people, we're just going to get right into the action. I don't, you know, who, who needs all that talking shit? And as you can see, you get a little bit of a map going on. As you explore. Crap! Oh no! Oh no! I'm trapped with the mushrooms. The mushrooms are going to get. Why are the mushrooms the things that are hitting me? I just fought zombie lizard dudes, slimes, and a regular lizard dude with a shield. Oh, you got the level up. Picked up a bomb. Picked up a potion. Oh, and that's a dead end. 
I do remember though that you ultimately can find some really cool gear in this in this little mode here. Picked up coins. Is my sword gonna break? Potion, picked up a mushroom. It did break. I also forgot about that. And look at that. Wow. All right. It's a trap. Oh no. Not the mushroom people on the trap. Oh, this dagger's already about to break. all the mushrooms. Oh, the mushroom peoples. Oh, give me the mushrooms. Oh, all of the mushrooms. And that was another thing I really liked about this. It was kind of ahead of its time in the sense that the armor you wore actively, like, appeared. Like, you could visually see it, the change on your character. Now I have to deal with this whole fucking trap. traps again. Oh, with the traps again. Alright. Shield's about to break. Yeah, let's get the dungeon grass. This sword is so good. Good lord, this sword is awesome. And look at that, we found stairs that leads down to another floor. Ah, 
No, with the traps. No, I don't want the traps. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got a mimic. Not on my watch, mimic. No. Got a new materia. Oh, a new materia. Oh, where did you come from? I already cleared this room out. Oh, I already cleared this room out too. It's a dead end. A dead end. Ugh. Hello. Hello, me. It's me again. It's a wannabe samurai sword. Okie dokie. So let's wander around the town a little bit. I research magic on a daily basis. My research is well beyond your capability of comprehension. You're going to take the magic stones with you to the dungeon, correct? Do you know the proper way of using magic? Materia can be used as either magic or basic magic. Or ma basic or ultra magic. I re uh. Okay. Oh, is it a recipe book? Indeed, it's Pierre's Memento. Thank you so much for finding it. In exchange for your help, I'd like to offer you the town's special brew. I shall also tell you all the hints written in the recipe book. Oh, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I, I, I. There's a blacksmith around here somewhere, I think. You're from another dimension, aren't you? This is a small town, so word gets around fast. I hear they find you unconscious on the outskirts of town. He's got all those cool swords on his on his wall, and you can't buy any of them. What do we got here? Pessa, is that you, Pessa? You've come home. Mama's been worried sick about you. I haven't breathed a sigh of relief since the day you ran away to another dimension because you couldn't handle living on the fringe of this dimension. From now on, don't leave my side. Please. Huh? You're not? Oh, you're not, Pessa. You look just like my child. <sighs> Pessa, where is the child gone? It's been five years already. That's actually kind of sad. But that's basically the gist of the town, right there. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll call this an episode, and I will see you all in the next episode. We're going to do one more of these for now, and then we will spend our money saving, because that costs money, because the posh doofus said so, I guess. Yeah. 
See you all soon. Farewell.